In this video, we're going to take a look at the Fast Array module in CAM350 and DFM Stream. The purpose of the Fast Array module was to quickly create an assembly array or an assembly palette. It is a subset of the panel editor in both tools. The panel editor was created with fabrication panels in mind. But if we quickly want to create an assembly panel or an assembly array, we can use the Fast Array module to do that. The first step after you load data is to define the one up border or the uh, board outline. Typically, a layer in your Gerbers will have an outline on them, but it's the center of that line that is actually the board edge. So we need to define that for CAM350 so that we can space our boards in our panel correctly. Now this example, we do have a border layer. Sometimes it might be on a solder mask or a plane layer um, that you will have drawn the uh, board edge here, but it's actually the center of this line that's the board edge. So there's a tool in CAM350 for creating that. It's under Tools, Draw Objects. It's called Draw to Board Outline. We simply click on this, right click to confirm, and click OK. And what it's done, as we zoom in here, you can see is it's put this line here in the center and that indicates the exact board edge and we'll use that for spacing when we get into the panel editor or the fast array module. Now I'm going to go to the fast array module and I get there through tools and panel and I'm going to go to panel setup. Now a typical assembly array size is somewhere around 8 by 11 in English units. So let's start with an 8 by 11. And we'll put 0.1 between the boards. And we'll put a 1 inch margin around it. We click on create. And it's going to show me how many will fit on our panel given those parameters. Now we can try other spacings and see how those affect our panel. So with a half inch instead of an inch all the way around I can get three but if I rotate them 90 degrees I can get four. Well maybe I only need a quarter inch all the way around and if I do that it doesn't look like it changes anything here but let's try a different rotation now if I go to zero rotation, all of a sudden I can get six boards into my array. And I can even recalculate the panel size if I want to, to get the minimum array that will handle the six boards. We're going to leave it at 8 by 11 for right now. Click OK. And it goes ahead and steps up my data. Now I'm going to add some tooling holes and fiducials. So I'm going to turn my top layer on here. And I'm going to make sure my grid snap and my grid is on. I'm going to use that to add my fiducials. I could place them with XY coordinates, but it's usually a little bit easier to do it with grid. I can set my grid size right here. And now all I need to do is to add a fiducial to my top layer. I need to have that fiducial size in the aperture list. So. We'll bring up the aperture list with the hotkey A. We'll go down to the first empty space here. And we'll add a round of 40 mils in. And now it's as simple as add flash. So insert flash. And then make sure we choose the correct decode here and then we just choose where we want to put that flash and again if I want to make it symmetrical I would come down here to uh, to this bottom board and then I might make one more over here now let's add some tooling holes to this example let's go to the drill and mill tools table choose the uh, through hole drill in this case it's an unplated drill and if I want to add a different size, I can just simply click on the plus here, make it a drill, 
make it unplated, and let's do an eighth inch. Now let's zoom back in here, and we'll go to Insert Hole, and let's make sure we're on the correct layer here. And then there's our tools. We'll choose the correct tool. Now, if we want to use the top layer where we add the fiducial as a reference, we can always make that a reference layer. But we're working on this layer. And then we can add it in relationship to the fiducials if we wanted to. So there I made it a couple hundred mils away from the fiducial. We can do the same thing here. And again, if we want it uh, in all three places, we can add it here. Now, the only other thing you might do to the panel at this time would be to copy these fiducials over from the top to the uh, bottom side and maybe add solder mask clearances for both the fiducials and the tooling holes on the solder mask layers. Once that's done, we can go ahead and export this panel and we do have choices there as well. We can export it as step and repeated Gerber data as well as in C data. We can create an ODB file out of it or we could create a 2581 file out of it which would have the uh, single up and the stepped up information. We can also create a DXF which is what a lot of people will do at this point and then create a document based off of this panel in uh, AutoCAD or something similar. Some other things you could do to your panel here is you could spin a PCB, you could spin it in place. You can flip a PCB. Now this is interesting in that if you flip the PCB we could make three of these the top side and three of these the bottom side and then go through the uh, layers and just map them so that essentially you've got the same panel whether you're looking at it from this side or from the bottom side of the panel which means only one setup in assembly. To do that we go to mapping and we map our layers. I've already done it here so I've mapped as you can see, basically just the opposite of what's in the uh, original mapping here. So it's a mirror image in the mapping so that when I do go now out here and flip these, uh, these boards on one side, it's actually going to make these the bottom side. And again, this means only one setup in the assembly process. So these are some of the things you can do with the fast array module in CAM 350 and DFM Stream.